Hello beautiful people, this is Tanya. Today I am uh, canning for you taco soup. I got this I, I got this recipe, uh, I'm going to say about a decade or so ago, almost a decade at least so ago uh, when I was doing Weight Watchers. And so it is a Weight Watchers recipe, but I've done a little tweaking on it, um, mainly because some of the, uh, one of the ingredients I'm kind of skeptical about as to whether or not I can can, so I'm making a modification and another ingredient I couldn't find, or I thought I had and I didn't have. Okay, so let me tell you what it calls for. It calls for one package of taco, uh, taco seasoning. So I have the right here, and I think three, I think it's three teaspoons or three tablespoons equal a package. I don't know. Oh, two, uh, two teaspoons. I'm assuming is what it says on here. But anyway, I put as much seasoning as I want to put in it. Y'all already know. Season the taste. How about that? <laughs> okay. Uh, calls for a package of ranch dressing, which again, I don't think you can uh, because of the ingredients in the ranch dressing. I'm skeptical as to whether or not I can can with that, so I'm just gonna leave that out. Uh, calls for um, then I need like a pound of ground turkey. And one onion. I pre-cooked this. This is my ground turkey and my onion. And this is more than a pound, just so you know. This is more like a pound and a fourth of turkey. Because I was doing another recipe and so I just ground all my turkey together. It was like in a two and a half pound container. So I just split it in half, roughly. Um, let's see what else I need. I need a can of Rotel. I'm using the mild, you can do the original, hot, whatever you want to use. A can of black beans. A can of ranch style beans. There we go. One can of kidney, excuse me, one can of dark kidney beans. I couldn't find the dark kidney beans. Well, let me put this away. I didn't get any at the store because I thought I had some here at the house. Um, and since I don't have any, I'm not going to the store for any. I love black beans, so I'm just going to use two cans of black beans. It'll be fine. And um, and water. This is what the uh, recipe calls for. Now, here's my, mod my modification. I'm going to add a quart, not quart, a pint of uh, corn that we've canned. I'm adding that into it and hold on one second. And I'll be adding beef, beef broth as opposed to water. Um, because I think the beef broth will give it more flavor than just the water. Don't get me wrong, it's good the other way, but it's good with the ranch dressing. So if you're not going to can it, I do suggest you follow the uh, instructions, which again is one package of taco seasoning, one package of ranch dressing, one pound of ground turkey, one onion, one can of Rotel, uh, Rotel tomatoes, one can of black beans, one can of ranch style beans, one can of dark kidney beans, my option, one can of whole kernel corn and water. That's what the uh, recipe called for, which again, the, the corn is optional. You don't have to put that in there. That's not a Weight Watchers thing. That was a Tanya thing, okay? So, but again, what I showed you is what I'll be putting it, uh, putting it in to my pot. And I will, since my meat is done, everything else, we just dump it in it and bring it up to temperature. That's all we're doing. We just dump it in, bring it up to temperature. I will be canning it in pint-sized jars because this will be enough for a serving. And my hope is that I get anywhere from five to maybe six pints, which will be enough, um, enough for my needs or our needs. And how I generally serve this is over rice. You can serve it over rice or <laughs> during the winter months, I usually will cook me some cornbread and serve it over cornbread. So. Once I get this together and get it warmed up and, and heat it through and everything, I will bring you back when I get ready to start um, filling my jars. 
because right now I have to wash some jars. All right, so I will see you in a little bit when I'm ready to start canning. It'll probably be later on, probably dark, because I have some a lot of things going on right now. So I get to this when I get to it. So when if you look back and you see it's dark and it's light right now, you know what happened. All right, talk to you later. Okay, everybody, as promised, I uh, I'm bringing you back, but I figured I'd show you how I or how simple this is to put together because some people might want to see that. I'm just saying. All right, so like I said, all of this is dump, a dump method. This is the um, French style beans. And they don't want to come out, so I'm going to have to dig them out. And then there's two cans of black beans. Like I said, uh, the recipe calls for a can of black beans and a can of dark kidney beans. But since I don't have the dark kidney beans, two black, two cans of black beans is what's going in. And I did wash these tops off, just so you know. Remember I told you, don't trust your local so supermarket. But they have rodents too. Wash your tops off. And a rotel. Again, I'm using the mild, but you use whatever is your preference. Fresh corn that we can. Get that seal. Smell it. Ooh, smell good. Mmm. And my meat. Get my meat. It was in the refrigerator. Just gonna dump this in here. Everything that's in here is done. All you're doing is heating it through. Okay. And in my meat, I season it like I season most of my meat with um, slap your mom, of course, garlic powder, onion powder. And in this case, I'm going to put some taco seasoning in here, too. And again, they tell you to use one package. Put as much as in, as much in here if you want to. Oh, this is a new thing. I got to open it up. Yep, we used that much taco seasoning, will we? I have to open a new one. I love anything that's got Mexican flavor to it. Although we know it's not authentic, I do like that Tex-Mix style. I'm going to put the top on so I don't over, over um, be overzealous with the season. Come on. I like for my stuff to smell like taco. They're just me. All right, and again, got some broth. Let me shake that up. Cause I'm not sure if it's selling or not. And we do have some. Um, I don't know if such a may be broth. I know we got we have turkey, chicken, and ham. I don't know if we have beef or not. And so I'm just going to eyeball it. Put in what you want to put in. Spread it around and see what it looks like. A little bit more. 
smoke off in there. And we're gonna warm this up. Put it on high. I'm gonna keep it in here. You don't wanna put that in there. I think I'm gonna add the whole thing in. Why not? I don't have anything else to do with it. I'm gonna go and add it in here. bring you back once this is warm through and we're ready to put it in the jar let me let you see what it looks like it's really a whole lot to see but there you go let's stir that around for you see all right Like I said, we'll be back once this is warm. I'm gonna put the top on it and let it come up. And I'll probably end up breaking up some of this meat too because it's already clumped together. And I'm gonna taste it to see if I need to put a little bit more taco uh, seasoning in it. Cause like I said, I like for my stuff to taste like taco. But you season your stuff the way you want to season. All right, I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, so I'm back. My um, soup has warmed through. I wasn't, you know, I wasn't trying to get it steaming hot. I just wanted to get it warmed up. I have my canner over here warming up as well. I'm just stirring it up a little bit. You can still see the smoke coming off of it. But like I say, it just warmed through. And we're gonna start filling our jars. And we're gonna leave um, a one inch head space on this, just so you know. And I am using these pyrolites that I've that I saw um, Jenny Galt talking about. We've used them before. We've never had a problem with them, so I figured I'd use them today. And again, I'm leaving myself one inch head space. And we're going to see how many jars we get. Put a little bit too much in that one. And again, if you get too much in one, just take it out. It's not that big a deal. Forgot my debubbling tool. I don't think I really need it, but like I said, I always use it anyway. Because this is soup, you really shouldn't need it, I wouldn't think. But you just never know. And like I said, err on the side of caution. Stir this around a little bit. I 
I doubt very seriously there's any air pockets in here. But like I said, this is suit. But you never know. And because we do have protein in here, we're using our vinegar. See? Our vinegar to wipe off the rims. Because vinegar cuts fat. See, I had something that I ain't no head on had it on there. That's why you wipe them off. Like this, put the lid on, get a fingertip tight, and into the canner. Same thing with this one. Wiping this off, and this is hot, by the way. <laughs> this is extremely hot. Well, not extremely hot, but it's hot. Come on. Fingertip tight. And into the can. Alright, so we're going to continue with these. I'm not sure how many I get. I, it looks like I might get at least six. That's what, fingers crossed. But it looks like I should get at least six. I'm hoping seven. But I'll bring you back and let you know how many I actually got when I get finished. Okay, so I ended up getting eight pints which I think is fabulous. And this is what I had left. So basically I had some broth and a few beans left. Can you see it? Yeah. That's pretty much what I had left that didn't fit. And so I thought about taking this and making me some cornbread. And if you're from the South, you know about pot liquor <laughs> and mixing some cornbread up in this, which I still might do, but it's highly unlikely. But anyway, I have my, um, my canner Heating up now to um, to where it's going to start to steam. Let me bring you up. Okay, so I got my canner where it's getting ready to start steaming. And once I get a constant flow of steam out of this nozzle, and this little nipple thing pops up, I will let it um, vent for 10 minutes. After it's been for 10 minutes, I will put my... little pressure gauge thing on it on here excuse me my hands in the way on there and I'll let that um, come up to pressure in my area it is 10 pounds of pressure uh, per square inch that's what I need to be once it gets up there I would then adjust my heat so that it can hang around that particular pressure level and let it pressurize or um yeah let it pressurize and cook or whatever you want to call it for 75 minutes and it's 75 minutes because i'm doing pint sized jars with meat in it okay so whatever you're doing that has the longest processing time that's what you base it on my uh, my meat has 75 minutes for pints and 90 minutes for quarts so if i were doing quarts i'd be doing 90 minutes uh, my beans don't have as much time. Well, it depends on how you do your beans. And, well, it depends on how you do anything. But let's just stick with the meat. Let's just stick with the meat. So, my meat is the most, um, the thing that has the most time that's needed, which is going to be 75 minutes. So, I will bring you back, or I will come back after this is finished processing. Uh, it's about 8.30 at night now, so it's probably going to be about 10.30 when I finish. Okay? Because... After it finishes the processing, doing everything I just told you to do, it does. Then I have to let it cool down. My counter usually takes about 30 minutes. I will let it sit for another 15 minutes without bothering it. Then I'll take this off. I will adjust the lid so that it can start cool down gradually a little bit more. After that 45 minutes, and I let it sit here for 15 minutes, then I'll take it out. At that point, I'll bring you back. All right, so I will see you in pro probably two hours, two and a half hours for me, instantaneously for you. All right, see you in a little bit.
Okay, so it's been about um, almost three hours now. So I, I lied. And I've left my jars in the uh, can of deer thing I said I was going to do. It doesn't look like I got any siphon, which is a good thing. Yay. Let's see. See? So I'm going to go ahead and get these out the canner. Take that back. It looks like it might have been a little bit of siphoning. Not a whole lot, though. But I'll be back once I get everything out and show you what they look like outside of the canner. Okay, so like I said, I did get eight jars. Here they are. You can see they're still bubbling. And it does look like they all sealed. Let me make sure. Yep, looks like they're all sealed. And as I told you before, I am using pure, pure pearl, pure, I think it's pure. I'm using pure, um, pure lids. And uh, they seem to be working. We, this is not the first time we've used them. This is the first time I've used them on a complete batch, though. But this is not the first time we've used them, and we have not had a problem with them sealing or anything, so... There's that. Again, this is um, taco soup that I have just canned. I will put the uh, recipe in the description. So if you're interested in making it, you can do that. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and leave a legacy. Y'all have an awesome day. Bye.